Welcome back to the Sports Show. Time to turn our attention to cricket, mate. Not that far away. It's been a lot of confusion about what's happening with every sport with Head Corona, down. mate. But we know you're a great sacker, man. So I know you're keen to get into these two lads. Thomas and Corey Kelly join us. Fellas, thanks for coming in. Right. Appreciate your time. I know you blokes are busy at the moment. Um, let's talk about, uh, before we get into cricket, mate, normally at some stage in your career, you've got to make that decision between Aussie rules footy and cricket. The old man wasn't too bad with the footy. Was it a tough decision to um, go the cricket route? I think, well... We were both pretty sort of small, like lanky growing up, so it was pretty easy to sort of move away from footy, like not too many hard balls, so <laughs> <laughs> um, we just enjoyed the cricket. Well, I personally, I enjoyed cricket a lot more, like the mates and the... I'd say um, you're both built for it now. Yeah. I'd say you're both built pretty well now for, for footy. footy. Yes, yeah. too late now. They've signed their rookie too contract, late. so no going back, mate. Hey, just we are having a chat when you came on, and, and i unsure about the rookie contract, so you're saying it's a one to three year and it can vary yeah. from player to player. Is there a relief once you sign it? Is it uh, like any contract where you just go, thank God I've got a contract? Well, there was for me. It's enough to go to work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if it worst comes to worst, you just keep training after, after work hours and then hopefully one day you make enough runs and get on the contract. Get on the contract. Yeah. So you're both on, you're both on rookie deals, on, on rookie contracts? Yeah. I, I did ask you before. I'm a little bit peeved about this. If by chance one of the boys gets a game in the first 11 yep. this year, so I would think that you come off the rookie contract and you're automatically a, uh, a senior, senior player, player. Or, or not a senior player, but a, a first 11 sacker player. But that's not the case, is it? You, you stay on your rookie contract until you play three, three games. Three shield games, I think it is. Three shield games. Yeah. And then you can be upgraded to a, a senior yeah. contract. Why three games? I'm not, I'm not sure I, uh, Mate, I, I agree. Mate, the boys aren't in here to talk about contracts, <laughs> Well, why not? Well, they, they, they want to talk about cricket. Okay. Well, we'll the big I like I like that I like the fact that they should be they just should be upgraded Straight once up. they once they make the grade. Alright, I'll make a note. Baz is gonna to talk to well, Sacker no. about upgrading, not well, happy no. with the way you go. Hey fellas, you obviously played a fair bit of cricket together, a bit of backyard cricket and all that stuff. Under seventeen nationals, you travelled together. What was that experience like for you? So you gotta go back in time, um, seventeen. That was uh, that was our first national championships for both of us that we made. Um, is a while ago now, isn't it? Um, we, um, we did quite well as a state, as a team. Um, he did a bit better than, uh, than me. He, uh, he made 100 against Queensland. The 100 once again, we chased down 300. Um, and on the back of that, he got picked for the Aussie under 17s to play in the 19s comp. Yep. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a good experience, that first one together, so. Mate, do you room together? We had enough of each other by the time you get on the road. No, we... Yeah, um, we yeah. Last knots of room together. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, al there's always comparisons. You know, I've got an older brother. There's, uh, there's always a comparison. You're going to be as good as your brother, or your brother does this, your brother does that. And you, it's great to hear you say he, he got 100 and then got picked on from that. Do you ever get stuck into each other about who's the better player? Um, well, well you clearly know you are. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, we're, we're different players. Um, he only bats. <laughs> um, <laughs> I bat and bowl, so. Oh. <laughs> he only bats. Yeah. But as it started. Is that, well, he only, only bats, and the yep. other one bats and bowls. Yep. That's right. So who gets the game first? Well, you're the selector, mate. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the bloke who bowls a little bit as well. <laughs> oh, does he? Oh, and, and oh okay. He's I've on actually, the outer. I've actually seen both of you play. I've actually been around at... Uh, Sturt's? Uh, yeah, Sturt Ground, yeah. I used to live at, uh, not, not far away. Uh, and I watched you. You're both very aggressive players. <laughs> you're laughing when I say that. But you are. That's the way you play your cricket. Probably you are more, very yeah. aggressive players. Yeah. Is that something that you've always been, or is it something that... Um, I reckon we both used to be, and then I've sort of had to come back into my shell a bit, and he's just gone the other way. He's just gone more... Slogger. Sort of, yeah, um, not real... Yeah, well, I, I call yeah. it slogger, but sort of just... Sort of bats to break the game open and get a quick 100, so... I mean, I'm interested to know this. Do, 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 the, do the soccer coaches, do they try and rein you in, or do they let you go? Is there... Let you have no, your they, natural... They, they, within reason. Um, they tell me, because that's the way I play, that's my natural game. Um, it, it can be a game changer, but then they you need to work on the uh, other side of the game as well, defensive and knowing when, to, when the time is to go, uh, to go hard as well, so. Yeah. So you're in... I, I didn't find, sorry mate, I, I didn't find that you were loose in any way whatsoever. I just thought aggressive was the, was the word. You, you, you look to score, yeah. that, which I, I love. I, I love that game of cricket where, where a batsman is looking to score all the time. There are a couple of blokes in your team at Sturt that 
were the other way, a little bit the other way, where they were, you know, whatever. So you complimented them well. I'm not having a go at them. Mm. But I like your attitude. I like the way that you, you get on with the game. You like to get on with the game always. And I think that's refreshing in, in, in young players. I love it. Mate, what's an average week for you guys now? What's an average training week? Uh, we got Monday. Uh, Monday is fielding, running, and a skill session. And then rookies get an extra day off a week. So we got Tuesday and Thursday for like, they call it personal development day. So like you can like uni or you still work a part-time job or just anything to get you away from cricket, like to, as personal development. So then Wednesday, today we had a big, we had a big day today. We had a big running session this morning and then a skill session. So, and then Friday's skills as well. So. Who's taking the running sessions at the moment? Uh, Stephen Schwert. Schwert still yeah. taking it. Is still he? there. <laughs> Who's the runner? You two. Neither of us. Neither <laughs> of you? No. One's a batter and a bowler, the other's a batter, no running. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll make a note for Swerty, okay? I know, I know this happens, it's the way of the game today, I know that, but I mean, back when we played, it was, I'd have a Benson and Edges and a cup of tea and then bang, we're playing. Uh, but it's a totally different ball game. Well, no, that's the way it was back then. Right? I'm, I'm sorry, mate, I've got a vision in my head of the two boys going, what the hell is a Benson and Edges one? <laughs> I know Paul. Do you know what it is? He's talking about having a fag. Yeah. I know the game. But then, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> mate. Well, that's okay, but, but, but I mean, that, that's the way it was. I mean, uh, the boys are talking about a, a running session. What's the, today is Wednesday. Yep. A running session in the morning. Uh, if someone had to rung me and said, hey, mate, you've got a running session coming up, I'd go, well, you know, what, do I bring my car? Because yeah. I ain't running, I'll, I'll drive. But I'll, I mean, it was, it, the game has changed so much. It's such a big fitness game today, isn't it? You need to be really, really yeah. sharp. Yeah. Uh, I look at it as well like we're getting, like you get paid now to keep your body in good mm. nick as well. So um, that's how I sort of like to, the mentality it's I've joined it. So it's, it's our job to keep fit and the fitter you are, the better you perform. So. Is, it, is it a little more than $6 a day for the game? <laughs> I just want to see if the money's gone up. That's a little bit more, it's a little bit more yes. than that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like $6 a day to face Tomo and Lily. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Mate, really. And they play with a hard ball now too. Oh, really? Yeah, and they have a yeah. bat as well. We mate, used to play one with a bell on it. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fellas, they've just announced Dizzy Gillespie as the coach. Yep. Uh, you, you had a chance to spend any time with Dizzy when he's been back and forth? Uh, I've spent I spent uh, a little bit of time. I was rookie one year with the strikers, and then so I got a bit of time with him, and he's... Um, it was a while ago now, and I, my memory's, memory's a bit slipped, but yep. um, I, I quite enjoyed his time and his sort of theories about sort of like batting, bowling, and like the game and stuff. So um, I think it'd be really good for our group. And so, you? I've never met him, but I've heard all good things about him. Yeah, he's a ripper. You're um, going to find out yeah, about yeah. his 200 he made against oh. uh, <laughs> Bangladesh, which was a really big inning. It was a great inning. Oh, it was a great inning. Oh, no, no, yep. no, you know. Because a few of those boys couldn't bowl a hoop down hill. Yeah, he got 200, but it's still there in the book. It's in the book at 200. He's, he's, a, good, he's, a, he's, he's a goodie. He'll be a goodie. Oh, he's a good cricketer. A very good cricketer. Uh, do you model your game on anyone? You know, so growing up, we always have a couple of guys we idolise as, as sports people. Are there uh, athletes or cricketers that you wouldn't mind being a little bit like? Oh, obviously, Ricky Ponding sort of comes to mind a bit, like the pull shot and the straight dive. So, yep. um, That's the man. He's one that I've watched growing up a bit. So. Pull shot. Yeah. yeah. Um, recently, I've been, I love the way Ben Stokes plays it. Um, just recently, but before him, it was probably Andrew Simons. Okay. Um, and Flintoff, so. Well, there's a few aggressive boys. Well, I was just right about there. to explain, so there's your aggressive bit, so right in there. And at the end of this, mate, you'll do your fish and chip shop and you'll be working on uh, other shows that'll be great for you. There is, a, well, I've got one more for them. Yep. Right? The Sackers, uh, I don't know how many times we finished bottom, but we finished bottom quite a bit in the last few years. Does it get spoken about at all? amongst the squad, of how poorly we are playing at that level. Not so much the one day, it's 2020, so not worry about them, but the, the four-day game, we have really struggled. It seems that we play well to Christmas, and then bang, once we open our Christmas presents, then uh, we don't want to play anymore. We, we finish bottom. It hasn't been good, because I think we've got a really good squad. I always thought we have got a good squad, good enough to win, yet we're not winning. Is it, what do you... Get a game, boys. That's what you um, need to do. Get a game. <laughs> I, I, there's not too much talk about it. Um, I've only been back a few weeks now, and um, there's. It's a tough one to ask you guys, I yeah. know, but you know the, the, the cricketing public out there. The, yeah. That's exactly what they think they, at yeah. the moment. That's exactly the way they think. Well, the smart answer is they don't know because they've been there. Yeah, <laughs> so you'll you all go with it's not my fault. Yeah, <laughs> this, that's one of those. Not my fault. Good that's feeling right. around the squad this preseason. Like yeah. We've had um, Richo and. 
Kez and Hedy around like this preseason, so to learn off them. Perfect. And a lot of the boys are sort of picked up off it. And the, Good luck, boys. So, yeah. Yeah, mate, appreciate you coming in. I know you guys are really busy, obviously. You've got a fair bit going on at the moment. Come in and listen to us two bozos talk about Benson and Hedges and Pies. I can't believe you <laughs> haven't taken that, take that away. Thomas and Corey Kelly from Sacker, our special guests. Stay with us.